Talk to me about your cricket. Um, so, I've been playing since I was probably about 10, 11, adult cricket. And then, since then, had trials at 16, Bucks, and then moved on to try and play high standard towards Premier League as much as I could. So, I play for Tring now, currently, hoping to get into the first team, hopefully one day. Yeah, cool. So, you sent me some videos on WhatsApp. I had a look at them. And these videos were from one year ago, was it? Yeah, one year ago. Roughly, one year ago. Yeah. And yeah, you say your action's changed a bit, but from what I saw, I can only take that if you've got an action from one year ago, that could creep back into your action now, especially when you're under stress. If you've got flaws, the stresses mean that um, you lose your, say, confidence, your ability to bowl your line and length, and the old bad action comes back, isn't it? Yeah. And I know that as well, because it happens with all cricketers if you don't practice on a regular basis. Yeah. And we're not professionals that we go in the day, every day and bowl. So uh, we haven't got a coach as well to help us. We don't have videos, we bowl, we fit, we hit a line and length, we're happy with it, we go into the match. Yeah. And then when you get hit for six, the stress comes back again and then things go a bit wrong. Yeah. That's cricket. Everyone gets it, even international cricket. This is why you have people like um, Don Best, for example, who can't bowl a ball on the spot. And I would love to coach him because he's got such a poor angle of his arm comes around from 11 o'clock, sometimes 10.30. How he's supposed to spin the ball from that angle, don't ask me. Yeah. He bowls flat and he still can't bowl on a length. And this is one problem with cricketers. You need a coach, you need videos, and you need to know your own game. Yeah? yeah? 100%. All right. So I remember from those videos from one year ago, a couple of things I noticed was your arm was coming from 10.30. Yeah. You over pivoted. I remember from this position, you were over pivoting, your foot was pointing towards cover. Yeah. Where ideally, as a genuine off spinner, you should be coming down the wicket. I was told to fin I mean, you know, I thought you had to finish side on and pivot through. Yeah. That. And if I face the other way, that means I complete my action. That's what I was told. Yes, absolutely. Some people say that. In fact, I'm going to tell you one thing. Go to international cricket. Show me a cricketer who finishes off like this, and then I'll change my mind. Show me, show me a proper spinner. Yeah. Um, Let's go with Nathan Lyon. He doesn't finish like that. And he's an orthodox spinner. Some people who do finish off like that, you do it for variation's sake, but you can't have your stock delivery. And if someone says to me that they can't land the line and length properly, I can tell you why. Because they're over-twisting, and because you're over-twisting, you've got to compensate by pushing, you're throwing your wrist back just to get the ball back on target. Yeah. Also, there's timing issues as well. Timing issues are very important. If you twist too much and you release the ball slightly, slightly early, slightly late, the ball's going to go in two different directions. It makes sense. When you twist sideways, yeah. you, you will make mistakes if you just about get your line, uh, your timings wrong. You might release it early or late. It has yeah. to be perfect all the time. If you've got more simpler, over the top action, yeah. the chance of you burning a wide is not going to happen. So you've got your line sorted straight away. Then you just have to work on your length. So you've got the major thing of bowling a wide early doors out the window. The reason why I'm saying this doesn't work for you is yeah. because you've got a fundamental flaw of you've got a collapsed knee when you bowl. Yeah. Okay. This is your pivot, that's it. This is how much your foot comes off the floor. And when you bowl it, you twist. This is what you should be doing. If you go over yourself, I'll be happy for you to do that. You don't do this. No. The and this I do is because I'm scared of bowling Venus. Because if I come over, then my eye line goes over like, because it goes higher, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. That's interesting. I've never heard that before. That's the I, find, I find that if you get on your tiptoe, the higher you get, yeah. the more accurately your length is. You might not know that now, no. but that is how you get accuracy. You've got to get as high as possible so you can bring the ball downwards. Not If you're low position, you have to throw the ball higher. Yeah. That's why the beamer might come out. You've got a collapsed leg. Yeah. You bowl with a bent knee and then you bowl and you twist. Yeah. You should be ideally going right over the top. And if you fall like that, I'm okay with this because spinners who do this, they've probably got a very good pivot over the front, uh, over the front knee. And because your leg is collapsed with a very small pivot, your leg comes round slightly. It just comes round like this, so there's a bit of a gap here, yeah. and it comes round. Ideally, you should be going straight over, like this, like this. Because how we walk, we walk in straight lines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fast bowl exactly the same when they bowl. Hip goes straight over. It's very simple to do this. It's harder to do the twist. And I think the twist motion, which you've got, means that you will screw up your line and length. Yeah. That's what Definitely I'm your line. Definitely your line. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna see your general action. Let me see you bowl. Actually, 
actually your pivot is a bit more than normal. Is it? From the videos, you weren't pivoting at all. That's, that's what I mean, I changed my Yeah, yeah, you've actually got a bit of a pivot now. Is that really your action? What's that? This is your action? Yeah. Okay. This is what I bought consistently. Yeah, like, yeah. This is, like, obviously I remember my old action. Because you've changed that last ball was different to your first couple of six balls. But I, keep I don't on, know why. Keep on bowling it. I don't know why. You are fast. Yeah, well, yeah, you are fast. But I think that's what's to my advantage. I don't mind it. I usually bowl fast, but once you get your fingers warmed up and everything, then you slow it down. Like that was a bit slower. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get the ball, let's talk. In cricket, if you've got problems with your arm going here and there, everything starts off from the feet. So the errors from the feet, will impact your arm. Do you know that? No. Now you know. If someone says, oh, you're leaning over, put your arm up straighter. It's not simple, I just put your arm up straighter. There's something down here going wrong for this to go wrong, for this to go wrong, for this to go wrong. Yeah? All right. A chain. It's definitely a chain. It is always from the feet. It could be a case of your stride is too big. It could be like this. Yeah. Yeah? It could be too wide. With the videos I looked at, I thought it was falling over. Oh, you definitely are. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get to that. Because you know that video <laughs> of the kid that you had? Yeah, yeah, Nine. yeah, yeah. I went and got a video of myself yeah. in lockdown, and my mum record it, and then I got a, on, a, on a Windows Movie Maker, and I put lines on it to copy the Yes, line, yes, thought, yes, yes. Okay, now I see where this guy's coming from. I know why I go across. That's your position. Yeah. You're all the way down here bowling, yeah. but ideally you should be over the top. Now, the reason why you don't go over the top and you're in this position is, first of all, you got a pretty big wide stance. You're in this position, you're too wide. And the reason why it's smaller is better because the smaller you are, the easier to get your hip over. Yeah? Yeah. So you're walking, you've got small steps, Sakhalin Mushtaq, you might have seen him bowl. Have you seen Sakhalin Mushtaq? No, I'm not. He's Victoria. I know he's left arm. Brilliant. And Jadeja, they're the two guys I love to watch bowl. Jadeja's a bit different because being left arm, he's got a round arm actually. Victoria's yeah. a very good example to watch. The reason why they've got small strides, very small strides, and on, on jump, that's literally their fit position. It's that wide, and they get over quite easily. Yeah. You're this wide. If you're wide, it's almost impossible to get on your tiptoes all the way over, unless you're a fast bowler. Because when you're a fast bowler, you run in, you jump with a big stride. Yeah. With that momentum, with that straight um, brace knee, you can fall over yourself. Oh, yeah. But you're not a fast bowler. <laughs> this is not your fault. I've got images of Middlesex coach who teaches his spinners that this was his position. And I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And I thought, what is this? This is not spin bowling. Yeah. So if they're teaching it on the county circuit, yeah. what, does that, what does that mean? You're going to produce good off spinners in the country? You won't. This has to be small. The smaller it is, probably that position, almost width apart, uh, shoulder width apart, maybe just a bit more. That's a good position. From here, you can't have a collapsed knee. From here, you probably will have a collapsed knee. And you can't get on your tiptoes. And then from here, you're gonna collapse your, everything's collapsed. It will never straighten because you've got such a wide stance. It literally is this wide. You were bowling here before. It has to be smaller. Okay. From this position, it's much easier just to have a straight leg. And if you do this, I swear everything will be sorted. Because if you sort this out, yeah. you will naturally get this hip straight over. If you get this naturally hip straight over, my body will not be in that position. The only reason you're, you're leaning over like this is because you've got a collapsed knee, yeah. your leg is twisting around a bit. Because it's, you're in this position now, it comes round. This is your centre of gravity. Legs this way, body's this way, you're burning off spin. Yeah. That's it. The questions you ask, yeah. other cricketers who are watching will be asking as well. That's good, man. You see how far outside off it's turning? That was good. Yeah. And you're, you're doing it from a standing position. The last stride is the most important stride. What happened there? Tell me what happened there. I had a lot of bounce. Mate, that is nuts. 